Welcome to another video on the Fossil Hybrid HR. This time I'm going to do a really deep dive on notifications. I'll show you what different notifications look like, what you can do with them, how you can set them up and customize them, and I'll also offer some helpful tips and tricks along the way. There are really three main things you need to know about notifications. Number one, you can only view or clear notifications. You can't actually reply to them yet, anyway. Maybe that will change in a future update. For the time being, the only thing you can respond to from the watch is a phone call, and even then your responses are quite limited. Number two, clearing notifications from your watch will not clear them from your phone, but clearing a notification from your phone will clear it from your watch. So it's kind of a one-way synchronization when it comes to clearing notifications. Number three, most text and emojis show up fine, but there's a limit to how much you can view on the watch display. You'll get notifications for pictures, audio, and video files, but you won't be able to actually view them on the hybrid HR. Again, I'll show you a bunch of different notifications to give you a better idea of what this all looks like. We'll start off by looking at how to access notifications on the hybrid HR. I've set my middle button to open up notifications, but you can also long press the middle button and scroll through the menu to find it. I don't know why it's so far back, because it seems like something you would need to access often, but there it is right after music controls. So you press the center button to open it again. Now that it's open, you can see that it shows you a list of notifications on your phone. The maximum number of notifications it can show you in this list at any given time is 20. And you can see that little icon at the bottom telling me that I've got two more notifications to view here. Once you hit 20 notifications on the hybrid HR, whenever a new notification comes in, the oldest one will be deleted from the watch. It will still show up on your phone though. Like I said before, clearing a notification from your watch doesn't clear it from the phone. So going back to this list of notifications, See, I just received a new notification, and now the number's gone up to three. So going back to this list of notifications, you can use the top and bottom buttons to scroll through them all. You can scroll through them one by one, or you can long press the top and bottom buttons to jump to the beginning and end of the list. At the bottom of the list, you have the option to clear all the notifications from the watch, or you can go home by pressing the middle button. Similarly, at the top of the list, you have that little icon which looks like a house, and if you select that and press the middle button, you can again go back to your home screen. Finally, you can of course go to your home screen at any point in time simply by long pressing the middle button. The basic format of a notification is this. On the left side is the app icon and the timestamp letting you know when you received the notification and what app it came from. So this notification I just received a minute ago from an app called My Prayer. For more recent notifications, the timestamp will change to just saying now that you just received this. And for older notifications, it will show you the time you received it. So this one I received 9.10 in the morning. And even earlier notifications like this YouTube comment, I got 3.46 a.m. And you can see that the icon isn't always going to be the app icon. So for YouTube, it just shows a star. For emails, it'll show an actual email icon. But for apps which don't have anything else, again, it'll just show you that star. On the right side is usually the name of either the app that sent you the notification or the person who sent you the notification. So if it's an email or a phone call or a message, it'll be from the person. But if it's a group chat or maybe something that someone posted in a Slack channel, it'll only show you the name of the group or the name of the Slack channel instead of the person who sent the message. So that's the left and the right done. In the middle is usually just a snippet of the notification. It's literally just the first line or two. You can press the middle button to open the notification and read a bit more. And once you scroll to the bottom of a notification, you have the option to clear it. So I just want to show you that I have it here on my phone. You can see that I've got the My Prayer app telling me it's time for Zuffer. And if I go back to my watch and I clear that notification, it still shows up on the phone. So clearing it from the watch does not clear it from the phone, which is kind of an interesting one. But if I scroll down to, let's say, my YouTube comment, I'm going to open it on the watch as well, just so you can see. So on the watch, I have that YouTube comment open. 
and on the phone I'm going to swipe, it's this one, I'm going to swipe it away, I just want to focus on the watch so you don't get confused by the blurriness, so I'm swiping it away and you can see that it changes on the watch, so clearing from the watch will not clear it from the phone but clearing from the phone will clear it from the watch, it's kind of a weird system but it works. I'm going to open this email from Make Use Of just to show you how much text is displayed on the hybrid HR. So I press the center button, it jumps to the first line of the email, and I can use the bottom button to scroll through it. Of course, I can also long press the bottom button to jump to the end of the email, or long press the top button to actually close the notification and go back to my list. So jumping back into that email and scrolling all the way to the bottom, you can see that the final line is now what are windows. But if I go to my phone's notification shade, you can see that the final line is actually what are Windows 10 generic product keys, here's how to use them. So the hybrid HR can't even display the full text you would get on your phone's notification shade. You'll also notice that in my phone's notification shade, I have the option to delete or reply to the email. But if we jump back to my watch, you can see that the only option I have is to clear it. Now the good thing about this make use of email is that it uses a lot of emojis and that's a good thing to have a look at on the hybrid HR. So you can see that this thing is supposed to be a padlock and it shows up kind of okay. The gaming icon looks much better, but this weird emoji at the bottom, it's really struggling to showcase that and it just shows me an X instead that I can't display this. And if we go back to my phone's notification shade, you can see comparison. So we have a padlock, a gaming icon and a monitor. So some notifications will have decent emojis that the hybrid HR can display, but sometimes it will definitely struggle. I'll also show you what different languages look like, just so you get an idea of how much this watch can actually display. Final thing I want to show you is if I go down to the bottom of my email and I clear it by pressing the middle button, it doesn't clear it from my phone. Again, clearing it from the watch doesn't clear it from the phone, but clearing it from the phone will clear it from the watch. So I'm going to clear all of my notifications from my phone. I'm going to swipe the make use of email away. I have a YouTube comment. I'm going to swipe that away. I will reply to you. Don't worry. Um, just so you see, now it says I have no notifications. The hybrid HR doesn't have a history of notifications as such. It just shows you a list of all your unread ones. So there's no way to go back and check which notifications you've already opened and looked at. Once you've cleared it from the watch, it's gone forever. Whenever a notification comes in, the Fossil Hybrid HR will vibrate and show you the message for about 15 seconds. Then it'll vibrate again and go back to your home screen or whatever app you had open before you got the notification. If you get multiple notifications, whether it's from the same app or different ones, the Hybrid HR will vibrate and display each one in quick succession. It's good for emails and reminders, but it can get quite distracting if you're part of a group chat where everyone's talking all the time, because the watch will constantly vibrate. I should mention that my phone is currently on silent, as it usually is when I'm recording, but notifications are still coming through to the watch. I'll post a separate video on do not disturb mode because the hybrid HR does have some problems when it comes to mirroring whatever is happening on your phone. But with all that said, I'm now going to show you what different notifications look like on the hybrid HR and I'll walk you through some of the more important things you need to know. We'll start off with the anxiety inducing dreaded phone call notification. Using the side buttons, you can accept or decline the call and thankfully decline is the first option. You actually have to scroll down to accept, which makes it very unlikely that you'll accidentally answer a call from your watch. You can also send one of three quick responses, which you can set from the Fossil app on your phone. Sending a quick response automatically declines the call. To set up your quick responses, you open the Fossil app on your phone, you tap on alerts at the bottom, and then you tap on calls and messages. Here you can choose who to allow calls and messages from, as well as setting up your favourite contacts. You can also change your three quick responses. You can't actually add any new ones, but you can edit the three default ones. Sorry, I can't talk now. Bye! When you next get a phone call, just navigate to the quick response and send it in. You'll never have to answer a call. If you've got a Google Pixel, you might have the ability to screen phone calls, but unfortunately you can't really select that option from the watch. And while we're on the subject of phone calls, this is what a missed call notification looks like. So on the left, of course, you have the icon letting you know that it's a missed call. 
and on the right you have the name of the person who called you. At the bottom is of course a bit of information letting you know it's a missed call. On the left you can see that the timestamp says now because I just received it less than a minute ago, but if I scroll down to an earlier notification you can see that the timestamp changes to 2 minutes ago, or 9 minutes ago, or even 10 minutes ago. Moving on to messages, this is what a text message looks like. So I'm going to press the middle button to open it, and I'm going to zoom in here just to show you that I've sent myself a text with a bunch of different languages, and starting from the top we have English, on the left is Arabic, on the right is Korean, and in the middle is Russian, and these all show up fine. On the bottom left here we have Hindi, which it can't really display, which is why it's showing me a bunch of X's. On the right we have Japanese, on the bottom left we have Polish, and you can see it's got the accent, so that's showing up fine, and on the bottom right we have a bunch of emojis. The emojis I used, starting from the right, were ice cream cone, turtle, thumbs up, and then a smiley face, and what's interesting is that it can't show me the smiley face, it's showing me an X instead. So you can see that some languages show up fine, some languages do not, and it's the same case with emojis. If you receive an image on WhatsApp, this is what the notification will look like. You've got the app icon in the top left, the name of the person who sent you the image on the top right, and in the middle it will just show you a camera icon and the word photo. You can't actually view the image on the hybrid HR, you can't use a watch to open it on your phone, all you can do is just clear that notification. A WhatsApp voice message has the exact same format except it shows a microphone and the words voice message. It also tells you how long the recording is, which in this case is 5 seconds. You can't play it on the watch because obviously it doesn't have any speakers, and you can't use a watch to play it on your phone either. All you can do is clear that notification. A WhatsApp video message is pretty much identical. You can see it's a video file and you can see how long it is, which in this case is 38 seconds. You can't play it, you can't view it, you can't really do anything. All you can do from the hybrid HR is clear that notification. If you receive a document or a PDF through WhatsApp, this is what it looks like. You get the name of the document as well as how long it is, which in this case is seven pages. And again, you can't view it, you can't read it, you can't use a watch to open it on your phone. The only thing you can do, say it with me now, is clear that notification. I hope you're sensing a pattern. This is what a WhatsApp voice call notification looks like. So you can see that I've got an incoming voice call, and on my phone I have the option to decline or accept it, but on the hybrid HR, all I can do is see that notification and then clear it. I can't actually answer the call or decline it. Even if I clear that notification, it doesn't actually clear it from my phone, so it's kind of useless in that regard. I can answer it on my phone, and I get the notification that there's an ongoing voice call. But again, I can't actually delete or decline or do anything. I can't put it on speaker or mute my microphone or hang up or do anything. All I can do is clear that notification. And this is what a Skype call notification looks like. Again, on my phone I have the option to accept or decline, but on the hybrid HR I can't do anything. I just see who's calling, and all I can do is clear that notification. If I clear it on the watch, it doesn't clear it from the phone, so again, not the best interaction between the phone and the watch for this. So I'm just going to decline the call here, hopefully he'll call me back. If you use Google Chrome to download a file, or have audio playing in a tab, or send yourself a link from your computer to your phone, this is what a Chrome notification looks like. So they don't have a Google Chrome icon here, instead you just get a star, I don't know why. Uh, but on the right you have the name of the app, which in this case again is Chrome, and then in the middle is just a description of what you've done. So I've just sent myself a link to the Lockdown Traveler blog, and we do have a Halloween episode coming out very soon, so keep an eye out for that if you're subscribed to our podcast. But again, all I can do here is just clear that notification. I can't open it on my phone or respond to it in any way. If you receive an email through your Outlook or Hotmail account, this is what it looks like. You can see I've got the Outlook icon on the top left, and I got this quite a while ago, so you can see it just shows me the day instead of an actual timestamp, so I got this sometime on Tuesday. Again, press the middle button to read a bit more, but there's not much I can do apart from clearing the notification. Similarly, if you have an event on your Outlook account, this is what it might look like. So you don't get the calendar icon for this, you just get the Outlook email icon, 
and it tells you when the event is. If I press a middle button, I don't get any more details. Again, it's just the time, and all I can do is clear that notification. If you've got a calendar notification on Google Calendar, this is what it might look like. So you've got the calendar icon on the top left, as well as a bit more information about the meeting, such as the time and the location. So in this case, it's a Zoom meeting. I can press the middle button to open it a bit more, but I don't get any more details, so I can't see who's attending, and I don't get a description of the event either. All I can do is clear that notification. So again, it just shows you the time and the location, but no other details. Alarms are an interesting one because you get different notifications depending on how you set the alarm. If you set an alarm on your phone, you usually get a notification about half an hour before it goes off and this is what it looks like on the Hybrid HR. When the alarm eventually does go off, the Hybrid HR treats it just like every other notification, meaning all you can do is clear it. But even when you clear that notification, it does absolutely nothing to silence the alarm on your phone. You still have to turn the alarm off manually yourself. But when you've got an alarm set on the Hybrid HR itself, then you get a different notification. When the alarm goes off on the watch, you get the option to dismiss it. Surprisingly, there's no option to clear this notification. All you can do in this case is just dismiss the alarm, at which point the watch will stop vibrating and go back to the home screen. Now, I found that the vibration motor on the Hybrid HR isn't strong enough to wake me up, so I never use it as an alarm clock. I only use the alarm function on the watch when I don't have my phone on me, like if I were at the gym and left my phone in the locker, or if I'm going for a run and don't want to take the phone with me. The inconvenience here is that the only way to set an alarm on the Hybrid HR is to do it through the Fossil app on the phone. Unlike the stopwatch or the timer, you can't set up alarms using the watch itself. To do that, you open the app, tap on alerts at the bottom, and then here you can edit any alarms that you've already set. To set a brand new one, you press add at the top, title it whatever you want, let's do test 2. You can choose to repeat it, you can even add a note if you need to, set yourself a reminder of some kind. And let's say we want it at 7.45pm. It's a clunky and long-winded way to set up alarms on your watch, but the good thing is that you can set as many alarms as you want. So I think I set up roughly 27 different alarms before I got bored and gave up. Up until now, most of the notifications I've shown you have been swipeable notifications, meaning you can go to your phone's notification shade and simply swipe them away. But there are certain notifications that are more permanent, like when you're playing music or navigating with Google Maps, or if you're signed into WhatsApp Web, for example. Now, these notifications are fine on the phone because they just stay in the notification shade and don't really bother anyone. But the Hybrid HR often treats permanent notifications as brand new notifications every few minutes, or whenever they update, and it vibrates accordingly. For example, if I'm currently playing music and I skip to the next track, the watch will vibrate and notify me that something new has happened with that permanent notification. It's particularly annoying for music apps, because you would think that the watch would realise that I'm playing music and then show me the media controls, but instead it just tells me that I'm playing this song right now, and if I go back to that notification, all I can do, just like any other notification, is clear it, so I don't get my media controls. Additionally, every time I skip a song, you can see that notification number at the bottom increasing, and eventually, once I hit 19 notifications, or 20 in the full list, the watch will start deleting some of the old notifications and make room for the new music updates. So it's kind of annoying every time you interact with the phone to change music or maybe increase the volume or do anything, the watch will vibrate and tell you that, hey, something different has happened and you should be aware of it. So my advice is to disable notifications for music players and things like Google Maps unless you really need those constant updates. And it's really easy to enable and disable notifications on the watch using the Fossil app. So you open the app, tap on Alert, and then tap on Apps. Here you get a list of all the apps that have notifications enabled on your watch. When the Hybrid HR was first released, I think it only supported 12 or 13 apps, but now it supports pretty much everything. Unfortunately, you can't customize any of the notifications here. You can't say that you want traffic updates enabled, but direction updates disabled on Google Maps, for example. It's just all or nothing, which is a bit of a shame, but you never know, that might change in a future update. 
And while we're on the subject of customizing notifications, or rather, not being able to, I should point out that you can't change the Fossil Hybrid HR's vibration pattern either. It's just a standard <laughs> for any notification that you get other than alarms, which are... <laughs> So I've gone through my list and disabled notifications for all the apps that I don't want. I'm going to press back and then I'm going to go to my home screen again and swipe down just to make sure that it syncs everything with my Fossil smartwatch. Now you can see that if I skip music tracks on my phone, the watch will stay quiet and not vibrate every five seconds. So that's really, really nice. And while we've got the app open, another notification you can set up is Move Alerts. These are basically reminders to move if you've been inactive for a set number of minutes, and to set that up you go to alerts at the bottom, and then tap on move alerts. Here you can choose how often the watch should remind you, and you can choose between 20 minute increments up to every 2 hours. You can also dictate when it should start reminding you, and when it should stop. Obviously you're not going to be very active when you're asleep, so ideally you would set the end time sometime before your bedtime. The reminder to move isn't like other notifications in that it doesn't show up in your watch's notification list. It'll vibrate and show up on screen reminding you to move, and then it'll disappear never to be seen again, at least until 20 minutes later when it shows up again. The low battery notification comes up on the Hybrid HR when the battery hits 10%, and unlike other notifications it will stay on the screen until you manually dismiss it. You can see that the hands have already gone back to telling the current time, but that notification is still there, and it will remain there until I manually dismiss it. New notifications can come in, show up on the screen for about 15 seconds as they usually do, and then eventually they will disappear. But that battery notification will stand firm until you manually dismiss it, or you hold the middle button to go back to your home screen, or you put the watch on charger. And that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful and gained a better understanding of how notifications work on the Fossil Hybrid HR. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you and your family are safe and well wherever you are in the world. This has been Zaim Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews. Over and out.